Loving Lord God, we thank you uh, that your Spirit helps us when we are weak and guides us when we pray. And we ask that you would hear us now as we pray for the church and for the world in the name of Jesus Christ. And we do pray, uh, Almighty God, for the church right around the world, seeking to make your love a reality to all people everywhere. We pray for the churches across this United Kingdom, across this uh, city of, of London, and for churches here in, in Richmond, thinking as well friends at uh, Twickenham and Hampton Hill and other Methodist churches locally. We pray for the minister of this church, Stephen Lewis, and for Deacon Richard as they seek to give leadership to this church in this place. And we pray for all the elders and deacons and members of this church as they take its witness forward week by week. Pray as well for all the organisations that use this church through the week. And we pray that through contact with your people and your church, something of your love might be made known to them. Renew the faith and life of the church, Almighty God, we pray. Strengthen its weakness, its witness, and make it one under Jesus Christ. Grant that we and all who confess that Jesus is Lord may be faithful in service and filled with his spirit. And we do pray, Almighty God, for all the nations of the world, the international community. We pray for peace in the world, Lord. We think again of the, of the, of the land of Ukraine and the conflict that has been going on there for far too long. We almost come to accept that that conflict is, is a fact of life, but it should not be and it need not be. So we do pray for peace in Ukraine and in other lands around the world where there is conflict and suffering. And we pray for our own, uh, our own country, our own United Kingdom. We pray for all those who at this, in these summer months are on holiday, are able to relax a bit and take life perhaps at a slightly slower pace. And we pray that all those who are on holiday in July and August may uh, know the benefit of that and return refreshed to their work uh, afterwards. We pray that you would guide all nations in ways of justice, liberty and peace. Help them to say and seek the unity and well-being of all people everywhere. Give to our King and all our government and all who have authority over us the wisdom to know and the strength to do that which is right. And we do pray, Almighty God, take this opportunity in our service to pray for those who at this time are unwell. We ask that you would heal, or healing's uh, gift and human, human knowledge might heal those who are sick in body or in mind. And we ask that you would give us an active sympathy for those who suffer. Help us to bear the burdens of others and ease them in order to fulfill the law of Christ. We do, uh, we're going to have a moment of silent prayer now before God because each one of us will have come to church this morning with our own personal thoughts. Perhaps we had good news, something joyful, we want to give thanks to God for that. Perhaps there's something that troubles us, makes us anxious, we can, some need we have or we know of, we can bring that before God now. So just a moment's silent prayer before God now for each one of us to use in whatever way we wish.
Almighty God, we thank you that you hear all our prayers, those said quietly in our hearts, as clearly as those said publicly in church and other places. And we pray that you would answer our prayers, not necessarily as we have asked, but as your love directs. Keep us and the members of our families, and as well as our church family and our extended families, united in loyalty and in love, and always in your care. May our families, friends, neighbours, all for whom we have prayed, receive the help they need and live in peace. May we and all your people, past, present and to come, enter into the life and joy of your kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.